the booth. Crafts, we need entertainment. We could have some rides. Listen, Hi. listen, listen. Do you hear that? I don't hear anything. That's, that's my point exactly. This is that time <laughs> that I've been waiting for all day long. You know what I'm saying? It'll help me organize this festival. It may not help you organize, but it's going to help you relax. Oh, honey, lot. well, relaxing's out of the question. I'm sorry. Now listen, I am, I am just thrilled to pieces that you volunteered your time to help oh, with Fifth Street. Everybody needs to pull together yeah, to say Fifth Street. I, I agree, but it doesn't have to be finished right now. I have a lot and of work. This is our time. This is the Josh, kids are asleep Josh, and everything is our big moment. I have a festival that I have to organize and very little time to do it in. I am sorry, sweetheart. No, listen, I don't, I, I don't want you to do this, okay? Rick? Yeah. Come here. I think I got something. <laughs> Looked like a kid who just opened his first centerfold. Look at this. Holy cow. Look, Look at, at all these newspaper clippings. There's hundreds of them here. And every one of them is about me. Apparently, my little brother has been keeping very close tabs on me. The question is, why? I'm not taking sides here. Oh, it sounds to me like you already have. No, no, that is absolutely not true. What, you want my father to do what your father wants, and you think it's okay if he sells our family business out from right under us? I'd call that taking sides, wouldn't you? Lucy, hang on, let me explain. Oh, come on, she's, she's right, you know, she's right. stay out of this. Lucy. I understand what this diner means to you and to your whole family. I'm going to say whole family better include everybody on Fifth Street. Send yeah, the right, right. direction. Because yeah. they care about this place as if it were their own. That's yeah, right. That's really Thank you. Well, there's that then. Why didn't I think of this earlier? I have the perfect solution to everybody's problem. It's time to finish this. I couldn't agree more. You sure have gone to a lot of trouble on my account, son. I'm glad to do it, Dad. Why? Just playing a little mind game. But who knows more about mind games than you, right? You, apparently. So if they have any meaning whatsoever, it's beyond me. Well, maybe this stuff will help clear up your mind. Or it does the opposite now, doesn't it? It's wanted try. But you know that too, don't you? Never heard of it. A few drops of this and put your mind in such a fog, you'll never find your way out. You must be chugging the stuff. Don't play stupid, Dad. I know what you're doing. You're giving the stuff to Dinah. Drop a day, whenever she's drinking, just blow her mind. I love my wife. Now, why would I want to hurt her? To cover up the fact that you've been robbing her blind ever since the day you married her. I never married her if she didn't have a trust fund. I married Dinah because I love her. No, you married Dinah for money. It's money you married Dinah for. You see, because I know. I've seen all your secret accounts in the Cayman Islands, dads. I don't have any accounts in the Cayman Islands, secret or otherwise. Well, they're not secret anymore, that's for sure. You know, I can't believe how, how easy it was to find those accounts. Boys down at the agency, they'd really be embarrassed for you. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. Stop with the denial, huh? I'm the one who mugged Leo for his PC. You remember that PC, the one with all the incriminating evidence on it? Yeah, you remember that. If you've got all this incriminating evidence, why haven't you gone to the police, huh? Oh, I plan to. But you see, I wanted to see the look on your face when I nailed you. Like the one that's there right now. This is all about Dinah, isn't it? You're still involved with her, right? Now let's get this straight. This has nothing to do with Dinah, okay? This is about a score that I have to settle with you. You've been ahead my whole life. But right now, it looks like I scored about 100 unanswered points. You're still way behind me, kiddo. You know, after they sentence you to walk in circles in a cement box, I'll be way ahead of you, You'd kiddo. like that, wouldn't you? I want to see you squirm just like everybody else squirms. Don't you. hold your breath. Just for what you did to Blake and to Peter and to me and to Bridget, you're going to pay for it. All I ever wanted from the moment I knew about you 
was to love you. I tried to earn your trust, and I tried to build something real between us. You don't know how to build anything. All you know how to do is to get what you want. You control and you manipulate, and if that doesn't work, you do your favorite. You eliminate, just like you're doing a diner right now. That's not true. And you are a filthy, disgusting liar, Harkin. You've been a busy beaver, haven't you? It's hard to stay active. The journal. Hey, I remember this one. Mystery explosion rocks the Tower Club. That was six years ago. Look at this. You think he kept enough clippings about the bombing? Uh, but this doesn't mean he set you up, pal. Sure doesn't mean he didn't. Look at this. It's another one from a couple of months ago. The New Arizonian. What? What's the Hogan? The Hogan Award? The so Hogan is the Navajo word for home. Oh, you won a homemaking award. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, something like that. What? Ex exemplifying Navajo life? Navajos were the first corporate raiders, man. Well, I guess you fit right in. You know, is it possible that your brother just admires you and he was just keeping a scrap? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Giving him the benefit of the doubt. That could explain clippings from the Journal, from the New York Times, Wall Street Journal. Those papers are easy for him to get. The Daily Arizonian? <laughs> could, it, could it be possible he was just interested in acquiring some... Rick, nobody property? in the Spalding House has any reason, business or otherwise, to be subscribing to a newspaper that is published on a Navajo reservation. But your brother did. Yeah, because he's keeping tabs on me. He wants to make sure that he knows what I'm up to. Well, now I get to return the favor. Son, you don't have to do that. I'll simply forgive the debt. Buzz, consider your no, mortgage. No, no. Look, you bought the note, you should get paid for it. All right? If you forgive the note, then you're out the money and the Coopers are still in your debt. At least it's a debt they can afford. Dad, they need to be free of you. Buzz has to pay the note in full. See, this way... Coopers own the diner outright. They can do with it whatever they like. They move across the street. They can turn it into a town hall, a gas station, whatever. And you, Father, can focus on your redevelopment project and leave Wheels and Meals strictly alone. Yeah. Take it, Buzz. It's the best solution for everybody. a few less zeros than your father offered. Yeah, well, it's enough to end this war between us so that we can get on with our lives. Full amount. Mortgage paid. Well, gee, I don't know what to say. Well, you don't have to thank me. It's all in the family. No, I was going to say no thank you. Take it back. I don't want it. Why are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. Well, it sounds like you are. I, I just overreacted a bit. I'm sorry. I apologize. But but I meant what I said. I just, I don't want you to do this. Why? Because... You said that it was important to save Fifth Street, Josh, that everyone was pitching in. I'm everyone, too. I want to help. Well, Annie, if you're not careful, you're going to end up being the one that needs help. I'm on top oh, of things. come on. I'm serious here. Let, let's just count all the jobs that you have now, all right? Let's, let's start with the one that you get a paycheck for. Mm -hmm. uh, crack trauma nurse at Cedars Hospital. Annie Dutton, the best there is, right? I mean, that job alone would be enough to give anybody a nervous breakdown, my darling. Now, now on top of that, mm -hmm. you, you, you're, you're helping to raise two of the most incredible kids on the face of the earth, and you're doing well, a great job at that, I must You're say. helping. Well, I'm trying to help all I can, but you do it all sweetheart. I mean, you do the PTA and you do the, the Sunday school stuff and, and uh, all of Mara's girl stuff, and only you can do that, and she loves you for that. And then on, on top of that, you practically run this entire household on your own. You're the one who plans the menu and does the shopping. And then, of course, there's me, your husband. You remember me? I'm the one. We're supposed to get together every once in a while, spend some time when we're not too tired to be together. How thin... Exactly. Do you really want to spread yourself? I guess I'll find out. Annie, it's okay to say no. It's all right. People do it all the time. A ask yourself this question. What am I doing now that I'm willing to give up? Because you're going to have to give up something. Now, if it's me, if it's the 20 minutes that you and I get together every day, that's fine. I can deal with that, I suppose. But the problem with that is it's not going to be enough time for, for you to accomplish the task that you've set before yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at you. Your hands are shaking. Josh, you, you, no, look at how tense you feel. I'm fine.
right. No, I, you know what? I don't really buy that. What is really bothering you, Josh? You mean what What else is... Uh, yeah. oh, okay, all right. Um, you said you've made it very clear that you don't like uh, me spending too much time with Reva, right? And this project is going to throw all of us uh, closer together. I, I thought that you said this had nothing to do with Reva. I, I thought you said that it was about the people of Fifth Street. It is. And you were committed to helping them. I am. Then I am committed to helping them, too. I thought you wanted to share everything together, everything that you were involved in. Unless, of course, you want to be involved in this particular project without me. Is that it? I mean, what is the reason why you don't want me around, Josh? Now, I ask you all, is this a reasonable man? Is this the kind of man you can make peace with? Buzz, please, take the money. I'm begging you. It's going to pay off the debt, and everything is going to be fine. You'll see. No, I'm afraid you don't see. Even at this late, you date you don't see. If, if I take this, then the diner's safe. Isn't that what you want, Cooper? Yeah, we'll be okay, but the rest of Fifth Street, as we know it, will cease to exist. It's not just no. about us, Alan Michael. So write me out a check for everyone here, and we got a deal. Oh, you're nuts. You got me there. This is not about money. This is about her. You want her, you can't have her. You came in second place. Or was it a, a distant third? Are we going to go through this again? Alan, I'm telling you, if I'd married any other woman on the face of the earth, you wouldn't have given a rat's fanny. You wouldn't have spent the time or the energy to buy out my mortgage and to foreclose on me. Well, you know something, Buzz? This did start with Reva, but not anymore. No, I am foreclosing on you, Buzz Cooper, because you're putting sentiment in front of true progress. Oh, but but that's, that's a lie! This project will not destroy this community. It will save it. How can you say that? They're going to displace all these Lucy, people. This, this neighborhood is going to thrive. All you have to do is look at the project, but you know, you won't let your stubborn head admit it. That's what What do you think Cooper. you're talking to here? Come on, I know how you work. I know how it happens. When your money talks, everybody else walks. I mean, we're talking about a double helping of greed here with a side order of lust for another man's wife. Oh, you're really over the top now. Come on! No, it's dead center in the middle of your vindictive bullseye, Alan, and you know you it. You know, if it looks like a duck and it smells oh, like... Oh, you stop uh, ganging up on my father! You're going to defend him now? Oh, please, don't... If I don't miss my guess, I'm supposed to be in my honeymoon right now. Yeah. And I really don't think we have time for this. You'll excuse us. Roger is a loving husband, and I know for a fact that he would never do anything to hurt me, would you, Roger? Of course not. I'm telling you the truth, oh, Dinah. Oh, really? And which truth is that? It always seems to be different with you, doesn't it? Have you seen your financial statements lately, huh? Your incredible shrinking trust fund? Your dear husband's been milking you dry, and he's been giving you a drug that's turning your brain into mush. Unbelievable. That is a horrible thing to say. You are a vile, horrible person, you know that? You may be a little too far gone on the lana trap, but I'm gonna try to lay it out for you. You mean make it up as you go along, don't you? You see, he's been flipping you an extended Mickey. One drop of this a day for one month, and your brain turns into total garbage. <laughs> One spy novel too many, I think, huh? Yeah, only in a spy novel is an antidote. Now, I had the drug analyzed, and there is no antidote. Skip the drug, get yourself analyzed. From the way you're zoning out, you got about three drops of that stuff till you turn into a stark raving lunatic. Okay, you shut up! I am not gonna listen to you defile my husband anymore. You know what? I won't listen to this. You're going nuts, Dinah, and he's doing it to you. This is loaded, and I know how to use it. I brought this for you, honey. Just in case he tried to threaten you, which I knew he would. Would you like to do the honors? Honey, just give me the gun.
guns are bad. I don't like guns. Guns hurt people. Guns can kill people. No, Dinah. Guns are ugly, too. This isn't ugly. This is beautiful. Isn't this beautiful? Did you know that this was a magic wand that belonged to a fairy princess? Did you know that? No, Did you? I didn't. Know. No? Okay, Hart, do you want to play now? Are you ready to play? Ready? Okay, all right. Just give me the wand, honey, before you turn somebody into something they're not. You mean like dead? Are you ready now? Hmm? Are you ready? I've been waiting for okay. you. Are you ready? Calm down. Okay, Calm let's down. play. Okay, please, sweetie. Turn. Bark like a dog. Come on. Let's hear it. Simon says bark. Bark. No. There is not one reason on the face of the earth that I can think of that I would not want you involved in this project or in any other project I have going on in my life, Anna. You've, you've made it clear that you don't like being around Reva. It's hard for me to accept that you're, you're signing up to spend more time around I know, I now. know. And I don't want to be around Reva any more than you think I do. But Reva is Buzz's wife, and Buzz is leading the fight to help save Fifth Street. So it's part of the package. I can deal with it if you can. I can. Okay. I, I'm just okay, it's settled. Worried about you. I'm just trying to put you first. Yeah. Josh, you, you I must know. be able to see I know, that. I, I don't want do you to take I on. I want to do this. I want to do it for you. I want to do it for Fifth Street. And most of all, I want to do it for myself. And only an idiot would <laughs> would try to stop you, right? And you're anything but an idiot. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think. So, since I can't stop you, I guess I'll have to help you. Okay. All right, let's get back to work. Okay. What do you want me to do? Uh, well, let's go over here. Where was I? You know what I need? I need more three by five cards. Okay, where do I find three by five cards? Uh, I think in the kitchen, sweetie. W w where exactly in the kitchen? <laughs> Try the junk drawer. Okay? You got it. Okay. Seriously, it's a case of brotherly love. Well, you're the one that should know, right? Well, you tell me. Can you think of any other reason why my brother would be keeping a file on me if he, if, unless he sees me as some kind of threat? No, that, that's the obvious question, but how do we go about finding the answer? Uh, I'm not sure. Yet. Want more deja vu here? Oh, man, it's just weird. It is so weird to be back in this office sitting behind this desk in this chair. Five years. You ducked my question earlier. Oh, I knew what you were going to ask. Category is future plans for a million dollars. Maybe more. Why did you come back, pal? Do you want to get all this back again? Is that the reason? Yeah, I'd like to know the answer to that myself. The honeymoon are safe and sound. Are you two all right? Yeah, yeah, except for a couple of bruised ribs. We'll be fine. Oh, man, we were worried sick about you. Well, thanks, but really, we're fine. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, Philip. <laughs> yeah. Well, considering that the two of you almost drowned, I'd say you look pretty good, don't they? Yeah. What about the boat? <laughs> Did the boat manage to weather the storm as well as you two? It's in dry dock, and uh, don't change the subject. Answer my question. What are you doing here? Oh, Michael, relax. Why? You heading back to the reservation anytime soon? Not yet. I decided to hitch a ride on the jet back to Springfield after the wedding. Thought it might be fun to, you know, see some of the old places, look up a few friends. Uh -huh. No big deal. Hey, look, uh, 
I can assure you, he's up to nothing. Yeah, and this is one of the old places that you wanted to see. Yeah. Oh, stroll down memory lane? After hours. So? Also, this is my office. And if you're going to be in my office, you need my permission. Well, I didn't realize I needed permission. Well, now you do. <laughs> Rick? You think I'd get a warmer welcome, considering this used to be my office when I used to run this company? Used to be. But not bad. Not bad? Not bad. Your pig-headed pride is threatening to ruin your daughter's marriage to my son, and all you can say is, not bad. You know, Alan, you've been out of line before, but this tops it all. How dare you use Buzz's daughter against Reba, me? Reba, he's using my no. son against me. Oh, my God. It's always about the children, isn't it? You did the same thing to me. You almost had me convinced that it would be best if I just left my children behind and flew away with you, that it would be in their best interest if I just forgot about them and left them behind. It was. No. The only interest you ever cared about was what you care about right now, yours. Hey, hey, don't go fighting my fights for me, Mrs. Cooper. Mr. Cooper, when we said I do, your fights became our fights. You know, Reva, I may be sick, but I know why you married Buzz. Don't forget, I caught you outside of Josh and Annie's wedding, remember? You don't know as much as you think you do. You, know, you don't have to pretend around me. I know that your marriage to him is a joke. You know, you do make me laugh, come to think of it. And you tickle my fancy. You are? But a joke? No. This is probably the first marriage I've had that wasn't a joke, because this is real. I'm my husband's wife in every sense of the word. Dinah, I want you to stop. Simon says, bark like a dog or you'll be sorry. Arf, arf. Roger, that was not a good bark. Now bark right, like a arf. real dog. <gasps> bark! <gasps> Very good. Now for your next trick. What can you do? Can you sit down? Hmm? Roll over. Go ahead. Roll over. <laughs> How about playing dead? Would you like to play dead? <laughs> what are you laughing at, Hart? Nothing. I wasn't because only the fairy princess gets to laugh. I know that. Squawk like a chicken. What? You heard me. I said squawk like a chicken. Squawk. You didn't say science says. Ooh. I like smart boys like you. Okay, all right, all right. This is much better, isn't it? Not from here. Of course it is. In her condition, she might have accidentally shot one of us. And you won't accidentally shoot anyone, would you? I like smart boys like you, too. From now on, any shooting is going to be deliberate. But there doesn't have to be any shooting at all. You can prevent this gun from going off. And how would I do that? By telling me very clearly, explain to me what you plan to do with all this evidence you claim to have against me. It just seems like you're taking more and more of these it's every a, day. It's a little. It's a generic brand of a much costlier migraine medicine, so you should be happy. I'm saving well, you money. Well, I appreciate that. What's the dosage on? Let's see. Take one. Come here. Take one every, every four to six hours as needed for pain. I needed it. I took one. Well, wait. Did you read the rest of this? Honey, it's... Look at it. It says, do not exceed six pills over a 24-hour period. Look at it. I have a lot left. The day's mostly over. No sweat. <laughs> What, what about the what about the program though? I mean, can you take this kind of stuff? Josh, you know, when, I am an alcoholic. I understand I'm that. I'm just saying that it's addict. Okay, I can take something. Yeah, this for is pain. the second migraine you've had today. At least, at least the second one that I know about. Why would I keep my migraines a secret from you, sweetie? And by by for your information, migraines can come into keeping them in a secret. Clusters. I'm just thinking that maybe your migraines are coming from all this it work is, that you're doing. Okay, this... I am fine. Don't worry. Okay. I want to do this okay. festival, and there's okay. no reason okay. why. Okay. Okay. I've got to get to work. Okay. Which work is that exactly? It's the one with paycheck. I'm covering a night shift. So, will you do me a favor and? Uh, Kind of look through the yellow pages and see if you can't find some caterers' yeah. numbers. Sure, caterers, I can handle that. I think. You realize, of course, that um, most caterers are going to be closed now, right? Yeah, if you can just make a list for me and I'll start calling them in the morning. Okay.
I, yeah. <laughs> mm, indeedy, you do. Every single second. Wait, hold look at this. Oh we lost our friend. Nice work, Mr. We said? Cooper. Could have done yeah. it without you, good thing. Oh, we do fit well together, don't we? Oh, please. Oh. Like we were made for each other. Reva and Buzz, look, you're full of lipstick. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Hey, you think I went overboard? You think I was bullheaded about turning down Alan Michael's check? No, what you did, I think, was the right thing, and under the circumstances, it was yeah. probably the only thing you could have done. You sure. Why are you second guessing? <sighs> you are a good man, Buzz, yeah. and your convictions are worth standing. I don't want Lucy mixed up in this. You can hey, only be hurt. She's a big girl. And if she well, gets into this and she gets hurt, it's not because of you. You taught her right from wrong. It's just a shame Alan didn't do the same for his side. Alan Michael is a wild card in this thing. Absolutely. I mean, she doesn't know it now, but he used to be, you know, a chip off the old block. A Spalding is a Spalding is a Spalding. Alan Michael, I'm very well aware that this is no longer my office. And I certainly didn't mean anything by coming in without your permission and sitting in your chair if I stepped on your no, toes. No, it's okay. Way. It's okay. Just, just in a bad mood. Dealing with our father gets me that way. Pain in the neck sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes the pain goes a little lower. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that it does. Are we talking about a pain the size of Advantage System? Philip, level with me. Did you have anything to do with Advantage Systems? <laughs> no! Look, you saw his reaction when I brought that up at your reception? Yeah, he was pretty angry. You know, what I find the most amusing about this is that, you know, I stumbled across this. I had no idea that this was supposed to be some big yeah, secret. Yeah, okay, thank you. I, I don't need to hear any more about Advantage Systems. Uh, what about you? What's on your horizons? How long are you planning on staying in town, huh, big brother? Just curious. Uh, well, little brother, I'd love to be able to tell you, but I, uh, I honestly don't know. Well, as so much as I'm getting the warm fuzzies watching you guys bond again, I really have to get back to the hospital. Lucy, it's good seeing you again. Actually, I'm going to walk out with you. Oh, Michael, thank you for the use of the office. Just don't make it a habit. Would I do that? Bye, Lucy. Good night. What do you think? I think I would be a fool not to keep at least one eye on him at all times. You all right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, you did try to make a generous offer, and you did try to help, so I guess that's what really counts. Yeah. Not the fact that your father turned down the best possible solution. Well, to a problem that your father started. Oh, Lucy, come on. I gave Buzz a way out. You know? He could have been out free and clear, and he turned it down. No, that's what your father wants you to believe, that it's all my father's fault, but that's not true. Obviously, you can't believe everything that your father said. My father told the truth to me at the hospital. He came clean all on his own. He admitted everything. Good. So he confessed before he got found out. That doesn't excuse him, does it? But he did confess. Well, my father didn't confess to anything because he didn't do anything wrong. Uh, well, let's face it, Lucy. Your father is stubborn and he's very prideful. There's two qualities that get in the way of logic. I mean, come on, if he was so destitute, why did he refuse my father's offer? And for that matter, why did he refuse the money that I was going to give him to bail him out? I mean, <laughs> turning down that kind of money, that amount of cash, just makes no sense to me whatsoever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now you are really scaring me. All you can see is money. Yeah, and all of the good that it could do for everybody in that neighborhood. People are going to lose homes. Lucy, if they accept the buyouts, then they can buy new homes, better ones. And what about the people who rent? They'll just go out on the street. Renters streets. can always find a place to live. Oh, Goodness. Now you're starting to sound like your father. Wait a minute, hold on a second here. Now, I know... I know my father is, you know, the big bad wolf and everything, but... We are working through this. We're... We're finally making headway. Lucy, I've tried so hard, you know? And Alan has come a long way. I mean, look at everything he did for us with Brent when we were in the lighthouse. <laughs> we owe him our lives. We owe our lives to a lot of 
people. My father and brother included. Yes, but were your father and brother on top of that Coast Guard cutter? Lucy, my father helicoptered into the middle of a storm to prove to you and me that he, he cares about us, that he's trying. How can I give up on that now? Okay, fine. I understand that you want a relationship with your father. But you have to face it. He did start this mess. Yes, yes, I'm aware of it. We're all aware of it. But I'm also aware that he tried to make amends. Amends with a, a hugely generous offer. Right, he tried to fix it the way he tries to fix everything. Just throw money look, look at this. and look at this. Wait, the more wait, the better. Wait, whoa, look at this. We're acting just like them. Yeah. How can we not? Why does there have to be a winner or a loser here? I mean, why can't we all just be happy? How can there be a happy ending with something like this? Roger, what's the matter with me? I feel so strange. Oh, there's a surprise. I thought you left your gun at home. What's going on? You're experiencing another episode from the drug I told you about, Dinah. Stop with that ridiculous story. I told you Roger would never do anything to hurt me. He already did! He's talking nonsense. I man. know. I know he is. Look, these episodes you're having are courtesy of your dear old husband. He wants you to lose your mind! And when it's clear whose mind is gone here. I'm not making this up, Dine. I had the drug analyzed. Everybody in town knows how crazy you've been acting. Now, all I need is a sample of your blood. Just keep away from me. You're not going to get my blood, or yours will be splattered all over the oh, ground. It's okay, honey. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We will have Dinah tested. And if this drug you've been talking about shows up in her system, we can only assume that it's you who slipped it to her. For what reason? I don't have one. You do. You were miserable. So you had to make me miserable by taking away the one thing I value most in my life, my wife. You don't care about her any more than I do. Do you have a death wish? The only thing she is is a bankroll to you. He has a gun, Hart. He will kill you. He's not going to shoot me because he doesn't have the guts. If you weren't my son, you'd be dead already. But I am your son. That's why I have to take you down for what you did. And how do you plan to do that? Hey! Easy, I'm going to easy. And tell him what you did to his daughter. And then I'm going to go to the police with a pile of evidence so big, they're going to lock you up for the rest of your life. See, it looks like I outfoxed you at your game, dads. I'll see you in jail. Don't make me hurt you. You're not going to shoot me. You're pathetic. You make one move, and you're dead. I know you don't want to hear this, but it's true. Alan doesn't want a happy ending. He wants to destroy my father, and he's not going to stop until he does. I don't see it. You can't, or you won't? No, I don't. I'm sorry. That's what's upsetting me the most here right now. Lucy, come on. Alan is trying to make no, amends. No, he's no, trying to make don't defend right. him anymore, right? I don't want to listen to it. Michael said that he was dealing with Dad about something tonight. What do you think that meant? That, Sherlock, is a question for another day. I gotta get to work. Okay? All right, all right, all right. As usual, you've been in value. All right, take care, Tom. I'll talk to you I, later. I'm gonna be here, all right? Okay. No! Oh, I'm sorry. Are you all right? <laughs> I should have known it was you. Hey, we gotta stop meeting like this. <laughs> here. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right, here we go. Classy caterers, only the best. I wonder if they mean the food or the clientele. Ah. Who am I to wonder? My job is to list, list, list. I said I was sorry, Joshua. And now you have everything. You have Annie, and you have the family that you always wanted. So why are you trying to turn my kids against me? I don't know, Reva. Maybe it's just payback for you making me love you again.
telling Alan about oh. our love life. About our love life? Mm -hmm. Why would I be mad about telling him about our love life? I, I would, like, write it in the sky for the world to know about our love. I kiss you in front of Lester, for God's sake. Really? I don't lie about things like that. It's just different with you. I mean, I, I actually feel like you married me. Wait, 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 what? You can't start a sentence like that and then stop. I'm just afraid that if I say it out loud, it, it, it'll just ruin the whole well, thing. Well, then try it. Trust me. I've I... made love to a few men. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, maybe more than a few. Oh, no, this could be a list. No, I don't think I could take no. Nothing, I don't think it's a good like idea. It. No, it's not, it's I don't like want it. to. It's not. Nothing like that. Oh, okay. All right. Well, so, so tell me what, just, why you're so. I feel like, like you, well, you act like you're proud of me. That, that I'm some kind of great catch. <laughs> that you married the most beautiful, the smartest woman that you'd ever met. And it just, I, I want you to know that 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 means a lot to me. You think that the way I act about you is an act? Well, even if it was, it doesn't matter because it just makes me feel so good. Now, just let me let me explain this. It's, uh, when I was a kid, I just I, I, I worked so hard. I turned myself inside and out to try to get people to like me, and, and some did and some didn't. And I just thought that if I acted like hot stuff, then nobody would notice that I that I really wasn't. But and if I if I wore enough makeup and wore my skirt short enough or red enough, that they wouldn't peek inside to see that I really wasn't good enough. What? You're so hard know. when you've got so much going on in the first place. Oh, no, I guess I just never feel like I felt like I really was good enough. You know, I mean... Girl, you sell yourself short. You don't know where I was raised. I was I was raised in a in a trailer park. My mama was the house for H.B. Lewis and their entire family. I don't care if your mom was Lizzie Borden. I don't care if you never wear lipstick. I'd like you never to wear a dress. I, I don't care if you cut your hair shorter than Sinead O'Connor. I'm crazy, mad, in love with you. <laughs> you really cracked me up, Dad. Shut up, Hart. He'll kill you. No. You couldn't stop me if your sorry life depended on it. Stay away. You know what? It does. You got no guts, Roger. No guts. Just back off. You understand? Don't anymore. Get away from me. Give me stop the gun. Stop it, Roger. Hart, Give me the no. gun. Give me the gun. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. us what you think. Call our viewer feedback line. This has been Guiding Light.